What if you suddenly find yourself in a situation where a loved one has become terminally ill and, as a result, will leave a cherished pet behind without anyone to care for them? We all know that rescue organizations, shelters, animal caretakers, foster homes, they do very difficult work every day trying to rehome misplaced, unwanted, or abandoned pets. Cats, dogs, rabbits, guinea pigs, and other types of pets can suddenly find themselves in need of a new family and a new home. There's a little-known program that finds new homes for pets whose owners have passed away on hospice care. It's called Pet Peace of Mind. Rehoming pets whose owners have gone is not the only thing these amazing people do. They also provide financial resources to assist with caring for pets of hospice care patients, and they take care of pets whose owners are on palliative care. For example, they will purchase pet food or arrange for the animal to go to the veterinarian when needed and even pay for the vet visit. They will have someone come to the patient's home, pick up the pet, transport him or her to get their nails trimmed or other things that need to be done with the pet, and it's at no expense to the dying patient or the patient's family members. This is an excellent program, especially since the bond between someone who is dying and their pet is very strong. Pets will want to be near humans when they become sick. Also, many humans who have fallen ill or are in the dying process they find comfort in their pet being with them, even when they are no longer able to care for their pet. I'll read something from the Pet Peace of Mind website. Quote, This important program benefits our patients and our community in a number of ways. It helps our patients enjoy a higher quality of living by helping them keep their pets at home. It gives our volunteer program a new dimension, and it reduces the number of pets entering shelters in our community. Pet Peace of Mind is a nonprofit organization that provides hospice, home health care, and palliative care providers with training and tools so that they can provide for the pets of hospice patients. The hospice organization provides specially trained volunteers to assist with daily care like feeding, exercising the pet, and even pet sitting. They may also arrange for trips to the veterinarian, groomer, or boarding facility. Another aspect of the program is developing an adoption or foster care plan for pets who need to be placed after the patient dies. The Pet Peace of Mind program is a great resource during times when things get really tough for terminally ill patients or those who have passed away in the care of hospice. Links for Pet Peace of Mind program will be in the description box and in the pinned comment below. If you find value in these episodes, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Visit my website at PetsRight.com. Until the next episode, have an amazing day and stay awesome.